There have been millions of win streaks over 2K's history, but today's win streak is different. Today's win streak is the highest 3v3 win streak of all time. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. 1919, just get a bucket. We need to make a comeback. Come on, come on. Green, we gotta make this comeback. Let's go. I told you that shit isn't over. He is double dribbling. He is cheating. A hundred. Yo, that's crazy. Bro, he's trying to glitch our core. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H. Back at it with yet another banger. And I have officially set the world record 3v3 win streak. And I'm going to bring y'all the gameplay in today's video. So make sure to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. Yes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Because, ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn ready. Because we have a lot of craziness ahead of us in today's video. But before we do get into the gameplay, let's go over some things. The largest 1v1 win streak ever recorded in 2K history was actually my 120 nine game win streak in 2k20 the largest 2v2 win streak ever recorded was by a duel of jack and exo who went on a 142 game win streak in 2k19 the largest 3v3 win streak was a 2k17 100 game win streak by a guy named slingers but the thing about these win streaks from 2k19 and before was that you could have teammates hop off and then have like a replacement teammate hop on and the win streak would still continue. And ever since 2K20 released, you have not been able to do that. I wanted to make sure when I post this, whoever was part of this uh, streak, he got the credit for it. We started off with three sharp. I think it was 81 and my app just crashed. So actually it took me a couple of games to get back on the spot and then free had to go. I was live streaming and Davis was in my live stream. You know what I mean? So he took the free spot when I lagged out on 82. Otis took my spot for a couple games. Otis joined us after 85. Anyways, after 13 hours, bro. Tireless 13 hours, bro. I mean, we finally got it to 100, bro. So as y'all can see, win streaks from 2K19 and before had like five to six or seven people, you know, joining in and coming out, taking breaks to help this streak continue. So streaks from 2K20 and then on are a lot harder to do because if anyone hops off or anyone lags out or anything like that, the streak's over. But anyways, the largest 2K24 win streak recorded so far is a 90 game win streak by badge plug on the 3v3 court. So since we're on the 3v3 court today, can we break the largest 2K24 win streak at 90 games? Can we break the largest 3v3 win streak ever recorded at 100 games? A record that has been standing for 2,351 days. Let's go ahead and find out. So this win streak started on December 23rd around 8 p.m. Where me and my teammates Chad and Solo were about to hop on the threes court. And the reason we went to go play park in the first place was because there was this double XP in the city event going on. Where there was double XP for like 48 hours over the weekend. So we had zero intentions on going for a win streak. And that's why you're going to see when I turn the gameplay on that the streak is going to start at 29 30 games because that's when i thought okay maybe we are going on a high win streak so i should probably start recording the plan was literally just to get on the court get some levels while we watch some nba games in discord you know what i'm saying it's a little chill 2k session but it didn't turn out to be like that okay but before we hop into the gameplay here are the builds we brought out there now solo was one of my teammates another content creator he was on a six foot seven lockdown build so this build can't dribble it doesn't have any ball handle and it's gonna be guarding ball it's gonna be our best defensive player i mean you see his stats 97 perimeter defense 96 steal 87 block it has a standing dunk. It can shoot the three ball, little pass accuracy, and of course, a very fast build for a six foot seven. And then here goes some of his badges. The build's basically maxed out 97 overall. And then here was another build on our team that I think a lot of you are going to find interesting. My boy Chad was on a six foot three. Now, when we got on the win streak, he was an 89 overall. I just want to point that out. So he was on a brand new build, literally just rebirthed it, had like no badges, and he was getting badges as the win streak was going on. And as you can see, a lot of you guys are going to be surprised by this. He has not a single defensive stat. 25 in 
every single defensive stat. A 92 three-pointer, 95 ball handled, 94 dunk. So it's literally just an offensive short build that cannot play a lick of defense. And I swear, every time I show one of these guard builds, like in a build video or something, there'll be a lot of comments that are like, this build sucks, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, that build might suck for you. But I mean, this win streak is going to be literal proof that for the guards that are very good on offense and have other defenders on the court, it can obviously be used to win at a very high rate. So yeah, this build had no badges except for the rebirth badges going into the win streak. And you're probably like, okay, Double H, what build were you on? If there's a guard, there's a lock. I was actually on a center. Now I know you guys never see me play center. So this is gonna be an interesting video because I feel like I play guard just to entertain y'all because I think it's the most entertaining position. But what 95% of y'all don't know about me is I actually started as a center when I was like first new to 2K. And I feel like if I actually mained center position, I would be one of the best centers in the game as well. But here goes my build. I'm a 6'8 popper, so I can shoot the ball. 6'8 center. I have a 95 standing dunk. Very good defensive stats. As you can see, I can shoot the ball. I have a 75 pass accuracy. So it's really just a do-it-all center build at the 6'8 height. And you're going to see in this gameplay how good I actually am on center. So I can't wait y'all to see that. But let's get into the win streak. Here we are, the first game I am showing of the win streak. And boy, do we have a long video ahead of us. So like I said, grab your popcorn. It's going to be a good one. And look at I'm on center, y'all. I'm actually excited to show y'all this gameplay of this video because... I'm on center. I'm never on center. Now, I can't say this enough. As you can see, we are on a 30 game win streak, by the way. So we are 30 games in. The reason I didn't record one through 29 is because I genuinely didn't know we were going to go on a win streak. Like I had no clue. Like, like I said in the beginning of the video, we hopped on the court just to get some double XP. Like this is why our lineup was a little different too. This is why I'm on center. Like to be honest, if I knew we were going for a hundred game win streak, I would have played guard. Um, maybe I wouldn't even have been on the threes core. I would have recorded from game one to game whatever the streak ends at. You know what I'm saying? But you see me sparking the jump shots. You know what I'm saying? We going crazy. If you guys want the jump shot, the build, they're both on the channel. This center builds in my top 10 builds video and the jump shots in my most recent jump shot video. But as you can see, we're still streaking it up. You're going to be able to see all. There's a ton of intense games in this video, by the way. Like the amount of times we could have lost on this win streak is genuinely insane but i feel like that's going to happen on any big win streak you know what i mean like you got to defeat the odds that's how you get to these big win streaks and that's why these big win streaks are so rare because it's defeating the odds and defeating the odds is not a common thing to do you know what i'm saying but anyways you see me screen another shot you know we shooting perfect that game and honestly i was shooting very good this whole win streak but we get into the first close game of many right here we are on a 33 game win streak and we're playing a couple decent players they had one like bad player on their team we're off the rip i'm shooting the catch and shoot and i miss open that never happens okay when i'm on center i miss open that's a rarity okay then avoid spams comes down he greens that open shot we throw it to solo on the break wasn't there we're coming up to set the screen i get the easy pop right here that's the green we're tied at three to three now you got to understand a lot of games we might not be paying attention as much as other games like and that's why some of these games you're going to see this close game some of them are against players that really we could easily blow out but we weren't paying attention in the beginning and it cost us so right here chad gets the three after the defensive stop we're up six to three chad lets up a back door now remember chad's on a build with all 25 defensive stats so giving up that back door it's a thing that teams are going to take advantage of a lot when we play them on the threes so now we're up eight to five after taking the dunk solos guarding ball and i gotta lie this spams dude was putting up numbers in this game bro he hits another three so now it's eight to eight and i'm like getting a little worried i'm like bro they're like scoring every play like we're scoring but like we only have one defensive stop you know what i'm saying it's eight to eight i'm not really thinking of anything of it though solo shoots an open three right here i got box out look at me getting the offensive rebound i'm locked in i'm dogging this other center bad screen right there shad kicks it to me i'm shooting over those and i miss again that's a second wide open three by me missed avoid spams wide open three and he hits a three so now we're down 11 to 8 and we could easily be blowing this team out like we missed a couple open threes we're not really getting defensive stops we're not really playing good chad attacks the basket misses me wide open but i hit him right back wide open three we get it to go so now it's tied at 11 we got to get a stop eventually right here. This Bonely dude doesn't take the wide open three, attacks the basket, kicks it out. Honestly, if you shot that three, it would have been a good shot. And look at this, bro. He, he, he almost got another three. Like, he shot a late. It was a good defensive contest, but 
He could have greened that. Like that, a 13% is greenable. 13 to 11. We're trying to get another stop. They're kicking it back to spams, which has been working. So they're going to keep feeding him. I don't blame him. They should keep feeding him. I'm pretty sure he has all of their points at this point. He attacks the basket, gets the open dunk, ties up the game. So it's 13 to 13. Chad has takeover. Remember, his offensive stats are crazy. He's like a 92 three-pointer, 94 dunk, 95 ball handler or something like that. I'm wide open. He passes a little late. And I hit that shot right there. I'm not missing three opens in one game. Come on now. We take the lead 16 to 13. I got takeover. Chad has takeover. They bounce past to the corner. I'm on that. That's box. Chad's playing good defense for his build as well. Solo's guarding ball. This dude has like all the points. He's trying to get another bucket on Solo. Open three and oh my gosh. He has 14 of their 16. It is 16 to 16. And we're not even on the high streak. I slip pop though. And oh my God, don't do it to him like that. Y'all don't know about my center game, bro. I'm slip popping. Y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Just, just wait and see, okay? 19 to 16, we need to stop. We're not trying to get this game too close here. And they take a bad shot. We get the possession. Let's just finish out this game. We're on an easy three-on-one break. We don't really get to take advantage of it. Solo with the smart second pass. He could have shot that, but Chad misses. With takeover. That was a good pass by Solo, though. I'd rather have the guard shoot it with takeover, even though he could have shot it. 1916, this dude just chucking a bad shot at this point. I mean, at that point, we were completely locked in because it's 19 to 16, so they're not scoring no more on us. But Solo, what are you doing? Yo! This dude Solo trying to sell. What's going on? 21%. It's okay, though. I got the rebound. Chad's attacking the basket. He goes up with some dumb stuff, and it's like, yo, okay, at this point, what is going on? 19 and 16. And you got to remember, we're only on a 33-game win streak, so it's not like crazy if we lose this. Like, 33, okay, it is what it is. And this dude shoots another heavily. Yo, he's he's out of body. Now, it's time to end this game. 19 and 16. Chad takes the open dunk, and thank God we get out of that game. Like, we could have easily lost that game. Like, we were making some dumb mistakes, and you're going to see that in a lot of our close games because a lot of these close games are close because we're making mistakes. So keep that in mind because a lot of the games we're not gonna show the full game because we're just blowing this team out. Like, look at this game. I was five for five from three, seven for eight total. Like in the games that are like blowouts, they're blowouts for a reason because we are completely dominating the other team, okay? We're playing well, okay? 36 game win streak. And at this point, we're almost at a 40 game win streak. We're almost 40% to 100 game win streak. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys remember, nobody, and I mean nobody, has been on a 100 game win streak in 2K24. Now, some of you might say, okay, what about the Poseidon's Reef event? That doesn't, that's not a win streak, okay? Like it is a win streak event, but those people that got to those 200 games, they went to sleep, got back on, because you could back out, basically hop off the court and the streak would still count, you know what I'm saying? That's like saying you won like 100 games in a row, getting off a spot, you know what I'm saying? It's not a win streak. An official win streak on 2K is staying on the court until you lose, okay? As simple as that. And that's what we're doing in today's video. So look at this 19 to two. I mean, this is a complete blow. We're slip pop into the hash, that's green. Now, honestly, when I'm on center, I don't know. It depends on what's going on. You're going to see me having sharp take a lot because a lot of these games are blowouts. So I just activate sharp right here. We have Mama Mentality. I'm pulling up with heat check from half court. I'm going crazy. Wait, hold on. I'm going to be in my bag right now. 40 game win streak though. So at this point, I had already been recording for like what? 10 or 11 games. So at this point, I'm like, okay, we might be going for a big win streak. Now in my head, I'm thinking, okay, we might get to 100. Then at 100, we hop off. So remember I said that at the end of the video because that's what I was thinking in my head, but little did I know my teammates had something else in mind. So 41 game winster, you see I'm buying boost because I'm starting to run out of boost on the spot and I have unlimited in everything except for blocks and jump shots. So I'm buying my jump shot boost in between games, making sure I don't accidentally hop off the spot because obviously that would be really bad. I'm slipping right here. They're double teaming chat. I make, you know, they could have made that extra pass to solo, but it was a little late. So I didn't end up passing it then i get the open three that's green and this streak is continuing now we've only really been in one close game this whole time because the first 29 games were blowouts as well so we're on a 42 game win streak right now y'all and we really haven't seen a close game besides that one game that ended in what 21 to 16 which like is that really close they like, lost by five but it was kind of an intense game so 43 game win streak and we've really only had one close game that's kind of crazy like 43 games straight 
and only one close game like we're dominating now here we're feeling ourselves we are literally locked in like and that's the other thing like are we locked in because some of these games we're not paying attention you know like i said in the beginning of the video we're in discord watching nba games we're just chilling you know what i'm saying but of course if, if you know we see a really good team hop on or we see we're in a bad situation mid game you know we're gonna you know lean up in the chair lock in make sure we get that w okay 45 game win streak then 46 game win streak we're up 18 to 3 right here another blowout chad for three that's green and now we i mean look at he had 21 points that game and that's what was funny about this win streak because there was a lot of people in game chat one game you know chad could go off for 21 then the next game some guy would talk in game chat saying oh solo's trash and we would like feed solo and he'd have like 18 you know shooting like six for six or whatever and then the next game i think you all saw like like seven games ago i went like five for five from three seven for eight with like 18 points because the center is talking trash you know what i'm saying so that's the good thing about our lineup is yeah we had positionals like a good positional lineup where we have you know a traditional point guard who's just all about scoring doesn't really have a defense on his build that guards the corner then we have solo as the lockdown who's like literally guarding ball and then me as the center you know defense can shoot the ball but we can also always dominate on offense like each of us you know what i'm saying so right here solo hits this three and just like that we are at a 50 yes 50 game win streak. you see i'm screenshotting that because a you know, 50 game win streak is pretty good for 2k24 like in 2k24 i don't know if you guys have realized but win streaks are kind of hard to come by like usually by now it is at this point we were streaking it was the date was december 23rd at this point usually there's been a hundred game by now every 2k like usually there's a hundred game within the first two weeks of the game but no one has been on a hundred game win streak no one's done it not on the twos not on the ones not on the threes and then threes is low-key the hardest because it takes the longest the games take the longest and also threes is just like i feel like a bigger skill gap as well which you know could hurt us hurt us or benefit us in the park depending on how you look at it but 52 game win streak right now we are just purely dominating we're over halfway to the 100 game remember the highest win streak this year is what the 90 90 something i think it's 90 on the dot 90 game win streak by badge plus so if we beat that we have the highest win streak in 2k24 and once again i'm just reminding you all the records you know that's the highest in 24 the highest threes win streak ever is 100 on the dot so and i didn't know that at this time by the way and the uh, highest win streak ever 142 on the twos okay and by the way i do own the highest win streak on the one so if we ever if we have to get in the highest win streak on the threes that'd be kind of fire imagine at the highest win streak on the, on the ones and the threes in 2k history that would be crazy and by the way those win streaks are win streaks that were recorded you know a, a screenshot you know we don't have any gameplay y'all know how the 2k community is bro some people you know be boosting and stuff they be cheating that's why i like to show in these videos especially my event videos of course these win streak videos i like to show every game so y'all know like damn they actually went on this crazy win streak like i'm showing at least one clip from every game showing the intense moments otherwise this video would literally be 10 hours because the game the if you guys want to know how long this win streak took all that stuff i'm going to show the stats at the end but this was over 10 hours this win streak took so unless y'all want a 10 hour movie then uh you know we're gonna have to cut up some of the games but anyways 18 to 12 right here you shoot up see i'm shooting 100 holding the screen for chat and y'all gonna be able to see our our hear our live com eventually in this uh in the intense moments you know hear how we communicate on defense offense all that good stuff we just gotta get to those moments okay we got a lot of intense moments in this video trust me it gets crazy because once we got to like 90 or once we get to like those high streak marks you're gonna see that every game becomes intense because once people start seeing you're getting close to like a really high win streak or one of the highest win streaks they're coming for a blood they don't want to see you get that win streak everyone's on the hate and stuff they don't want to see you go any higher so then people really start pulling up to end that win streak but right now we're at 58 now we're at 59 right there damn near a perfect game for our team 59 game win streak one game off this 60 game win streak and at this point we're going for the 100 look at i'm getting the inbound steal solos out for the three that's a green because like i said in the beginning we didn't know we were gonna get a win streak you know what i mean like we weren't really going for it it just happened if you guys remember my 1v1 win streak in 2k20 that got to 129 games that win streak also just happened if you remember correctly i got on that court to get screenshots for a thumbnail like that that's crazy i, I got on that court to get some screenshot, screenshots for a youtube thumbnail and ended up going on 129 game win streak in this case we ended up going on the court for double xp 
uh, in the park. And uh, yeah, you're seeing what's happening right now. So yes, at this point, we're at 60 games. We had agreed upon like, okay, yeah, we're clearly now we're going for a win streak at this point because we're not going to hop off at 61. Like we've already gotten to this point, 62 now. Why would we hop off now? So 62 game win streak. Look, I'm shooting spin shots on my center with a 25 ball handle. Okay, now, now we're going crazy. You know, we had heat check, but you know, we, we shooting that thing. We are definitely shooting that thing. 63 game win streak. Chad's hitting me open for the pop. Get the easy 10 point win. Make it a 64 game win streak. If you're watching the video at this random point in the video, comment down below just the just the number 64, bro. Because if I, if I know you're watching at this point, then you're probably watching the whole video. You were loyal. So shout out to you, man. Make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, hey, maybe maybe we should maybe we should go to beat this win streak, or maybe we should try to beat the two v two record. I don't know, but y'all gonna have to see what happens in this video. Anyways, Chad shooting with sharp takeover. That's the easy green. And at this point, we are just running through games right now. Like we're at a sixty six game win streak, and we've seen one close game. And some of y'all might not even call it a close game because it was twenty one to sixteen. But it, I would say it's a close game. It was intense. We could have easily lost that game. Sixty seven game win streak y'all this is crazy okay now at this point it's getting later into the night like I, i'd say we've probably been on this streak for about four and a half hours at this point because we were running through games pretty fast maybe i'd say like five hours probably a little over five hours not 100 percent sure on exactly what time it was at this point in the streak but 68 game win streak okay i'm slip popping chad's got the easy dunk this, by the way, this is the first time he's ever using the dunk meter on this streak because this was, like I said, a new build. He was on a new build when he got on this win streak. 69 game win streak. And now we are finally in our second close game of the video. Now, this team that we were playing against wasn't very good. You see off the rip, I get a wide and three. We're up three to zero. But what some of y'all don't understand is like some games we might be paying attention. Some games we might not. You know what I'm saying? Like we saw this team. They were a very easy team. Look at me shooting front fades, by the way. Like we're up six to zero. We're not taking this team seriously. You know, we're wa probably watching something in the background. We were chilling, talking about something completely random. You know how it is when you're playing 2K. Like some games, you're not paying attention. Some games you're locked in. And this was one of those games where we should have been locked in from the start and we weren't. And uh, it's gonna cost us as you can see almost. So six to zero. I mean, I'm throwing wide up at fast break threes to solo. He misses an open shot right there, but we're still up six to zero. This team that we're playing against is also like just not good. We leave a wide open three open. He misses. I mean, at this point, you're probably thinking, wait, this is a free game. Like no one on their team can hit a shot. Then again, no one on our team can really hit a shot, but Chad hits a three there. We're up nine to zero. It's nine to zero. We're leaving dudes wide open. They finally hit a shot. So it's nine to three right now. You know, their it, soul's it about to get to be like, I'm just holding the ball at half court. I don't even know what I'm doing right here. Like, Chad's coming off the screen. He's shooting a three. Now it's 12 to three. I mean, dude, it is a blowout. It's not even close. It's 12 to three. I'm leaving this dude wide open. He's missing. He's shooting very early's shooting contested shots for no reason solo's bringing up the ball with a 25 ball handle like it's clear as daily we are just messing around he shoots some crazy stuff he misses he shoots an early it's 12 to 5 now chad wide open he misses slightly late but at this point it's still like oh bro we're up by seven we're chilling they shoot a wide open three he hits it okay now it's 12 to 8 we're still not really taking it serious though you know what i'm saying i kick it out to chad we're up by four points and now you're going to see our live com right here where we're just talking about the other team's like chance to win. Like we're messing around. We're like, oh, this team has like no chance to win. They think they do. They're up four, but just listen it. I seriously think they, that their chance to win this game is like actually like 1%. Let's now, do you still think that? Yeah, and now it's like five. Maybe even lower. Maybe two. <laughs> Wait, what is it now? now? What? Now it's probably. Wait, like can you update five. us after everything that happens? Yeah. Now it. It's like 0.1. <laughs> I mean, we're giving them a 0.1% chance at 16 to 10. And then you're going to see them hit a couple shots here. And then we're going to start to realize that like, okay, you know, 16, 13. Then, you know, we miss. And then we're starting to realize, okay, we got to lock in. Bro took a two. Look at them. They're got, they got it. All right, we actually have to lock in. So 18-16, we haven't been taking this game very serious at all yet. But now we kind of have to because it's a two-point game. You know, if we miss right here, things could get bad. 
I play it safe. Don't shoot that shot just in case he gets a late contest. But then they get a steal. AT16. They have the ball. They can take the lead right here and get to one off game point. I go for the steal. I don't get it. They're going it back to this dude with rim taking. He shoots a shot. That was grainable though. 7%. It gets contested, but that's grainable. So thank gosh he doesn't make that with takeover. If he popped sharp takeover, would he have made that? I don't know. Chad shoots an open three right here. He misses. I get the offensive rebound. So I'm like trying to be careful, kick it out to Chad, not trying to get a turnover. I'm open right here. He jumps at me after getting a horrible catch animation, getting a test. And this dude sells on the fast break. Yo, I mean, they aren't very good. We've been messing with them and that's their body. That's them showing out right there. That's something they would do. So 18, 16, I get the wide open slip. We're just playing it safe. I also have, I don't know why I didn't activate takeover sooner. Like, I guess I just really wasn't paying attention. This dude, Wild with Sharp takeover. He makes it. So now it's 20 to 19 with like a 70 game win streak on the line against one of the worst teams we've played yet, but they're putting up the best fight. Sharp takeover, Chad just gets the Wild of a dog and it kind of ends in a not very intense fashion, but intense at the same time. There are the stats right there. I mean, we missed like a million Wild of the shots, but hey, 70 game win streak. We've now had two close games against teams that, to be honest, if I'm being honest, we were really locked in from the start. Wouldn't have had a single chance to even come close. But that's how it is on these long win streaks. Like, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna have the energy to be fully locked in to every single game. So those things are gonna happen sometimes where you just gotta clutch up at the end of the game and win. Okay, you gotta sit up in your seat and just get the win at the end of the game. Okay, so 72 game win streak at this point. We're playing some mascots right here. We're starting to see, you know, some consistent better teams pull up because obviously we're getting a big ass win streak. Like teams are now trying to beat our win streak. They don't want to see us get 100. They don't want to see us get the best 3v3 win streak of all time. They don't want to see us get the highest win streak in 2K24 history. They're not trying to see that. Okay. Not on their watch, not in their park. Okay. You know, if someone joins the park and they see this win streak, they're obviously going to try to give a shot to, you know, end the win streak right here. Get the slip though. Beat that team. End up winning 22 to 15, which brings us to our 73 game win streak. Now, probably wonder, okay, the place you said there was a lot of intense games in this video, but we've only seen two so far. And you're at a 74 game win streak. Trust me, stuff is about to get crazy in this video. Like, even looking back when I was editing this video, it's really crazy how we pulled this off in some of these games. I cannot wait until y'all watch through the whole video because it gets crazy 75 game win streak we're playing some more go tiers right here that's the easy green for me make it a 76 and at this point this is almost my highest win streak to be the 24. my highest win streak was what a 78 i think on the twos i actually streamed it let me know if you guys were in that stream in the comment section and at this point we've passed that basically so at this point it's my highest win streak of 2k24 um and I'm not gonna lie, this at this point, it's probably my highest win streak on the 3v3 core ever because I don't really go for win streaks on threes. If I'm going for a win streak, it's gonna be on twos or ones because I just know those games end faster. But, anyways, getting into our intense game number three, we are playing a stage team. Even though I personally haven't seen them in the stage, this team was talking crazy in game chat. They were saying they were gonna beat our streak, they were these sweats, they were saying we were just the normal BS that these dudes be saying. But, anyways, listen, in, just not even kidding. Don't get nervous. I'm bro. holding it. No, Actually, no, quick slipping. <laughs> lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. So, lock in. so yeah, uh, you see, we're saying we're locking in. I'm communicating on the screen what I'm gonna do. These dudes are isoing. They they got like a goat tier line about. This center was talking to me too, saying like I wasn't responding obviously, but they were saying we were like consecrators. We're not good at the game. Streaks over. Blah 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 blah. And that's that's what he's shooting after talking. Like I don't know, bro. But y'all gonna see, we, we play this team right here. It's, it's gonna be a good game though. Two to zero, their ice wins solo. He does the John Wall crossover, gets the easy dunk. So now it's tied at two. So I'm trying to show up now. Now we're actually locked in. Like, so we see this good team. We see them talking like we're locked in from game point, like from zero to zero, from tip off, whatever you want to call it, from checkup, we're locked in. So we're locked in two to two. I'm holding the screen. I'm kind of communicating with Chad what I'm going to do. I'm holding the screen against it because I kind of see the center playing low. He goes up with a bad shot, though. Gets blocked. I was open. Probably should have passed that out. And it's okay. We make mistakes. 
two to two. Let's get a stop. Solo's reaching. He's attacking the basket. He's jumping at you know the, what he thought he was gonna shoot a mid range, but he's kind of wasting all his energy. Gets the John Wall, and Solo blocks it right there as he got the slow and slower animation because he was probably low on energy. He was dribbling a lot that possession. Two to two. Chad kicks it out to me. I'm just trying to reset because they played good defense on that. They got guards up right now, so I'm like, okay, give back to Chad. Let's just get a quick slip going right here because. You know, they have guards up. This should be an easy quick slip. So Chad hits me right here. And I get a bad dunk animation, but I get the dunk to go. So four to two. They're back on the ice. So they hit this dude on the slip. And I get the block right there. He's not going up with that on me. Come on now. I'm showing out. Four to two. If we get a bucket right here, that's huge. Solo wide open in the corner. Bang. Let's go. Miscommunication on their end. I think they were trying to play guards up, but they just miscommunicated it. So seven to two. They're back on the ice. So. So they're, you know, we're, we're doing screens. They're doing ISO. And you know what? Each team prefers with their set lineup, which kind of makes sense for this team because this dude, I think, was like a taller build. So yeah, seven to two. Solo's playing magnificent defense on this possession. This dude ends up cutting and I help. And yeah, that was probably bad help. I honestly didn't think he had enough time to pass out. But yeah, just bad awareness by me. Giving up a three. So seven to five. That could have been a steal. I throw it back. That honestly could have been a steal too. Kind of some sloppy passes by us. They foul. Seven to five. I'm slipping it. It's not really there. The late pass just in case, you know, he gets in the lane. He has to chuck up a fadeaway three. We don't get the rebound. So it's like, okay. But Solo gets the ball right back. So that's huge. Seven to five. I could have shot this right here, but I was just being safe. I probably could have should have stepped up maybe um but yeah seven five they got uh chat in the corner i'm like okay reset let's get a screen going watch for the corner dot but it gets a horrible pass animation so now we got to reset again five seconds little off ball screen turns into a grain okay off ball screen to a grain ten to five we're playing good defense right here he's going for the dunk i don't know how that was not a block but uh, hey, it is what it is. So 10 to seven back on offense. I'm slipping because the lock is out to play. Chad gets an open three, somehow misses that. And somehow I didn't get that rebound. I don't know how I did not get that rebound. So now we're giving this team another chance, but Solo is locked in. He's got defensive takeover, almost plucks him right here. I almost got that lane. I don't know how I didn't get that lane. I'm hedging right here. He gets a good look at a three right here, but misses open. Like a lot. He was talking a little too much to be missing shots like that. I'm open in the corner, calling for the ball, and that's green, giving us a six point lead against these sweats 13 to 9. They took a two that last possession. I'm popping out. Shout with a little late of a pass. I think he thought that they were going to go out and he was going to have the open dunk. I'm holding the screen. That's an easy three. And now we're up to 16 to 9 lead. They're passing back and forth. I don't know how I didn't get that lane. I thought I had the steal, but Solo is fighting for the steal right here. But the 2K not giving us nothing. And then they have to force this fade away. Even, I'm not going to lie. They had enough time though on the clock. They had 11 seconds. Not sure what that buy six was doing. You see them in game chat talking crazy. Chad shoots a bad shot right there. It's okay. It's okay, Chad. I got a rebound. I got a rebound. Oh, I don't got that one though. It's 16 and 9. We're giving them a lot of chances though. Like we really should have ended the game by now. You see their center has sharp takeover. Chad has takeover. Solo's in takeover. We foul right there. 16 and 9. I'm not mad at that foul at all, but they end up getting a fast break three after we miss another shot. So now it's 16 to 12. It's only a four point game. We gotta score anything. Literally any bucket it works. I'm slipping down the paint and he gets the block, bro. I'm getting horrible dunk animations. Like I think he got that dunk animation this game too. Just bad dunk animations all around. So he gets the block. Chad gets an open three, somehow misses. And this dude's in takeover. So he gets the rebound. And now we're giving them another chance. Like we should have been ended the game. I'm guarding the pop. I know he wants to pop and we get the steal right there. Cause he has sharp takeover. He's definitely feeding to shoot that ball. I'm being safe. I'm being patient with it. 16 to 12. We dot Solo in the corner. He shoots that, and that's green. Solo coming through clutch with the three-pointer at the corner. 19 to 12. Now it's looking like this game's over. I'm just heavily pressing on the three-pointer because I know they want a three. Because that's really... Why would they take a two down seven? You know what I'm saying? It's obvious that they want the three. And they actually end up getting it. Good move by that crumble guy. The guard, 19 to 15. I'm telling Chad just anything. I'm holding the screen. I end up slipping, get the dunk. And just like that, we end the game and get these dudes off the court. Now we're talking crazy. So now we're at a 79 game win streak, literally one game off an 80. And we're going to get an 80. As you can see, we're up 20 to 14. I got takeover. Chad's got takeover. This game's looking over. I'm popping out to the top of the key. I actually end up missing that shot right there. But as you can see, the end of that last game, and this game actually ended up being a little close, 20 to 17, but it wasn't really intense at all. Like we were kind of 
had a good six point lead on them throughout the whole game until the end right there so we take the two get the 80 game win streak and the other team that we had just played against was trying to get on the spot again that stage team that was talking crazy in game chat and they were talking at the end of the game as well and what i think they thought that first game was a fluke y'all like they really don't think we're like that but we're actually like that like they think we're one of these content creators that ain't good at the game and just makes like that's not us bro anyways 81 game win streak you could see they're on the god next spot now now it's an 82 game win streak and things are starting to get a little intense like we're really getting close to the highest 3v3 win streak of all time leading us to our close game number four against the same stage team right here i think they actually did they pick up a different lock i don't know if they had that lock that last game but might have picked up a different lock but anyways we're playing them again they thought the first game was a fluke so i, I was like okay bet the first game was a fluke bet let's let's see what happens this game because clearly they want this streak done for and we don't want to end here so we get the wide open three i get the offensive rebound though i'm like i got you chad don't worry about it bro you know that's a good shot he missed it it's all good i'm shooting the kind of contested midi but it was wide open i green that right there so giving us a little 2-0 lead and look at solo hawking the lanes on the inbound on the y2k you know not, not giving him that but it is what it is then they start kind of like isoing chad i would kind of assume that maybe they might try to take advantage of his low defense but that was a lockdown so you know is he gonna score the ball or i don't know uh anyways so they hit back to the spot of lock they hit it back to the guy that were isoing hit it back to the other lock and he gets the two to go so now it's two to two i'm holding the screen we're trying to get anything to work with we're kind of trusting our defense here i'm slipping but chad gets an open look right here misses and i get another offense rebound hit chad for the open three he misses again i get another rebound another offensive rebound hitting back to chad he's getting the open look pass a little early and i'm like chad i got your back good shot chad i got your back bro you're gonna get unlimited opportunities come on like you know chad's like a little worried you know he's missing open shots but i'm like bro i got your back i'm getting the offensive boards don't worry about it we scored five to two i'm watching the back door i'm there i don't know how that's not my steal but 2k not giving me anything we're playing great defense solo playing great defense that iso is completely boxed they're calling for a back door because you know chad has no d on his build hey they, that's easy points i would they should be taking advantage of that five to four we're up one point i'm holding the screen shout the wide open three i'm open two. just horrible defense by the other team and that leads to an open three for us so eight to four they take another two so they're trusting their defense right now like they're taking twos pretty quickly in their possession telling us that they trust their defense but look at us we're wide open for a two like three seconds into the possession so clearly their defense isn't working out too well for them ten to six they're doing this pass back stuff with you know chad's guy that he's guarding and it's working for them like they're scoring off it and look at it, it leads to him getting takeover so now we realize yo that's might not be good but look at i'm popping i'm greening i'm shooting the three no three solo play high as shit give me, that, give me that give me that give me that yes i got Let's take go. i'm quick i'm i'm slip popping oh, oh my god, my god. i'm a fucking dog i'm a Dog. you see the vibes we're lit we're locked in we finally got an intense good game going and we're locked these dudes are still talking crazy in game chat and what we had realized early on in the game is like okay they, that's why that lockdown was scoring and backdooring on chat the whole time they were trying to get this crumble guy takeover and he did get takeover not even scoring but it didn't end up working for him you know they tried to abuse chad's bad defensive build but look at i'm getting the inbound steal now it's a complete flood i'm locking in i got heat check chad shooting the three and boom it's a blowout out here like this sweaty team really thought that the first game was a fluke look at that center bro zero in every category zero in every category like i don't even play center bro and i'm dominating these other centers that think they can mess with me out here like no bro like they luck they really lucky i'm not on guard though but we win in regardless so it is what it is 20 to 5 right here i'm getting the rebound throwing it down the solo who's shooting from way downtown he's messing around shout with the open three gets the green to go and just like that we are inching closer and closer to the biggest 3v3 win streak of all time and the highest 2k24 win streak ever we're at 84 games right now you see this team's quitting out teams are giving up trying to beat us we got you know that stage team ends up giving us giving up not you know trying to play us again because you know they know they can't mess with us now we're up on this team we win that game 85 game win streak we are 15 games away from the 100 bomb literally only 16 games away from the highest 3v3 win streak of old time which is literally 
insanity. Like this will be the highest 33 win streak of all time recorded if we win 16 more. Now make it 15 because now we're at an 86 game win streak. We've had some decently close games, just a couple, but there's a lot of stuff in store very soon. So y'all make sure to tune in because we got something crazy coming up. You look at the guy next spot. You see a brown short. He's like brown shirt. He's really short. But then we see like a really tall guy. And um, yeah, we have a court glitcher on our hands here. When he was trying to first let him set him up. Over with. <laughs> he said this streak over he said with. It's over I with. Do what I want to do. Bro. Take the two. What is he doing? Bro. He probably no, he's going to glitch it. Uh, he said this streak over with in game chat. Hit him with the 360. He's going to glitch it after or something? I hit him think with so. The 360, hit him with the. Oh. On eight game win streak. Let's end this shit. You with, you with, oh. He's a weirdo, Hit bro. Hey, As you can hear, like, bro, this is some weird activity. Y'all know a lot of my big win streaks have ended with people glitching the court. So this post score literally got on the court with intent to not beat us. You can see he's running out of bounds. He's not trying. He has his bot account that he probably boosted to level 40 with or whatever level he's at, whatever, every season. On to help him glitch the court to boost his odds of glitching the court, I guess. He's not trying at all. And the second he got into game chat, running out of bounds, telling us that the streak is over. Just some very weird activity at like literally one or two in the morning on what is now December 24th um, at this point, because we started the streak at like 8 p.m. at December 23rd. So now it's December 24th, which is Christmas Eve. This is when we started to figure out what was going on. Weird, I'm like confused. Throw it. That's definitely his his burner account. Like he has two Xboxes. And like he boosts with that account to like boost his main account and then he pulled up with both accounts and he knows a way to glitch a court where like you quit mid game or something because like dude as soon as he went into the game he went into game chat and literally was like this streak's over with and didn't yeah, just started running out of bounds trying. he wasn't even trying yeah he was emoting and he said this three. streak over with ain't gonna lie now we weren't sure if the court glitching would be a thing that happens before the game where he's going on to the god next spot like in previous 2ks or like after the game because he was staying in the game so we tried to grade him out to avoid that i'm confused why do you how does he how do you know he's trying to glitch the court i don't care he had a bounce i think he's getting like multiple defensive stops or something it's gonna go to my guy it doesn't matter you don't want to read the lane that, that wouldn't do anything we need it to go to the center bro so we can stop him exactly the center is, is. the ball okay yes what is he this kid is so dumb I don't even think he knows that he's, he's at a D minus again. D minus. D minus. No, let me just so miss a shot get... or something. Actually, he's going to get the board, though. No, you get, what, you if get I'm, what if I. So, like, as you see, we ended up giving up on trying to grade him out, and we ended up being wrong, anyways. Court glitching was at the end of the game. It's before the game, just like other 2Ks. Then we had a friend in our Discord to see what was going on on the God Next spot. I'm looking at his name. It's. You're playing. The kid that's on the spot again is Boost Officer. He's on he's the spot again. already? Yeah, he's already on the spot. He's going to glitch it right now. And then man. it's another 60 that's named... Mm, yeah. <laughs> They're just going to glitch it, bro. So, it, so, it so it's a before the game thing. Yeah. What yeah, do you they, mean they, they messed the up. That's why he quit. That's why he quit to get the spot again. So we, should have, and so we should have done the opposite. We should have ended it as fast as possible. So they're on the court again. You can see them literally on the court. We ended up figuring out there was a whole group of people that were um, related to this uh, yo post guy trying to glitch our court right now. It doesn't have, there's no one on the spot. It's just me. It's me and like two random kids. This guy got offline. They all yeah. quit. They all quit. They, they all, all quit. quit, bro. That's bad, not gonna lie. No, I think it's just like, now they're now I all think, of those accounts. Yeah, I think best anyways was also a part of their group because why would he yeah. quit? At the nah, same exact time? The dots, bro. They gotta, they gotta, and he has a default guy, jump shot on? Up like these are old bot accounts that, that are a part of his group, bro. This, this is about so, so weird. Right? This is beyond yeah. weird. Like it is about, a, it's literally Christmas Eve right now. Yeah. <laughs> so we ended up getting out of the game. We're still on our win streak. Everything's looking good. But that yo post dude is still kind of on the side of the court. They have some of their bot accounts on the park. So we're not sure what's going on. All we know is that we're still on our streak and we're very close to the 100 games, but we just got to keep ending these games as fast as possible because maybe they get on the court again and glitches. So we're just trying to end these games as fast as possible to get as close as possible to this 100 game win streak without something going wrong. Because as you guys know, back in 2K20, when I was going for 100 game win streak right now, as we hit 90 games, by the way, we're tied with badge by the way. Hold on. Hold on. We're tied with badge for the highest 2K24 streak. And now we have officially beat it. The highest win streak. 
in 2K24, 91 games. But anyways, like I was saying, back in 2K20 when I went for a 100 game win streak, we got to like, what, 94 games or something and someone glitched my court. Like I've had a lot of win streaks, high win streaks that have ended in someone glitching our court. So that's why that was very alarming right there. And if you don't know what glitching the court is, basically you try to like freeze the game so the game does, can't start. And then you're basically, so the team on the streak is forced to dashboard and lose their win streak. Okay, but anyways, 92 game win streak. Now this is when things start to get crazy. We are in another intense game. We're actually playing OJ, who's actually one of my subscribers. Shout out to him. He's one of my subscribers that is very good at the end. He pulled up to try to end the win streak with his center right here. And things got crazy. So off the rip, I'm like, okay, you know, we, we don't want to mess around here because obviously, you know, this team is pretty solid. I hit shot on the off ball, open three, he hits three. So we're off to a good start. We're up three to zero. And like I said, at this point, we are literally just games away from 100 games. So everyone in the park or anybody that knows about the win streak is trying to end our win streak. You see OJ is, we clearly see his method after the first play. He's giving it to the center and he's trying to off ball decks on some Steph Curry stuff to get open for a three. So right here, they're also playing super high. And you could tell by OJ in his center that they were very confident in getting threes up because they were playing super high on chat. They were playing, they're basically double teaming him, leaving the slip wide open. So I see that I'm being aggressive on the center when he has the ball because I know he doesn't have any ball handles. So I'm not going to let him dribble on me. So I get that steal. I'm holding the screen right here. Get the slip, but look at their high defensive press ends up working for them. They get a steal right there. Five to three. OJ's decks and off ball ends up just taking the two probably for takeover. And now it's five to five. So once again, look at how high they're playing on defense right here. I think they wanted to switch it. Miscommunication or something. I get open for three. End up taking it. If I'm open for three, I'm going to shoot it. So eight to five. They get the ball back right here. We cannot give up another off ball decks. I'm telling Solo, let's just stare at him, bro. Like uh, guarding the off ball movement is kind of hard in this game. You got to just stare at him, whatever. I leave that center open and you can tell like that center is really not even looking to score. He's just trying to feed OJ. But then again, he shoots the open three, but misses it. Ends up not being open because Solo played good defense. So eight to five, I'm like, yo, chat, be aware of their press. They end up leaving Solo in the corner with another miscommunication. I get the offensive rebound. And I'm like, yo, they're pressing super high. Just be careful about this slip pass. Make sure we get it. We ended up getting it. Get the two, 10 to five, because what's ended up happening on those high presses is that center is trying to get the lane steal while also playing super high. So that's why I was warning chat about that. They end up hitting the center while number three. He's decks at me. So now it's like weird. Like their offense is super weird. Like whoever's off ball is trying to get open on the off ball movement. It's just not something you see a lot okay so we get another slip again we have a good comfortable lead to take those twos so we're comfortable doing it 14 to 8 to get another off ball three right here he ends up missing though i wasn't in position for the rebound but i get the steal so we're up six points we're feeling good i got defensive takeover solo's open for a midi and he greens that so now we're up 16 to 8 things are looking good we should be good to go we just can't give up any threes but he kind of, he could should have shot that. Now I'm in the lane right there. And now we've completely figured out their offense at this point, giving us a 10 point lead, 18 to eight. They're still trying to get open off ball, but at this point it doesn't really matter. He's chucking threes. They call a foul right there. And at this point, it's looking bad. Their defensive scheme did not end up working. We are eight for nine um, to, you know, right now so far in the game. And if we hit the next shot, the game's going to be over. They're still trying to get the off ball movement going. He ends up getting open, gets a three to go, but it's just too late. We're up 18 to 11. Chad's got to take over. Look at how high the center is playing. He's not even guarding me. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, it's almost laughable what their defensive scheme was here. Cause like, I don't know what their center was thinking playing that high, but definitely doesn't end up working. Uh, I think they thought maybe we were just going to three hunt and not be smart and take our twos, but that's definitely not what's going to happen. But look at his off ball move was going crazy. Like we were double teaming right there and he still got open off that deck. So 20 to 14, me and Chad both in takeover. You can see the center is playing a little lower, like a lot lower than he was the whole game because he knows if we get a two, the game's over. So I'm like, yo, just hit me on the pop. Like I'm now he's just leaving me wide open. So I'm not going to miss that. So I end up greeting that. Honestly, I don't. I just think their defensive scheme cost them right there. We end up getting the 93 game win streak. Like that center was either playing way too high or way too low. So I don't know what he was really thinking that game. We're up 20 to 14 this game. They got this dude in takeover, but we get the steal right there. End up getting a little fast break dunk right here, giving us the 90, what, 94, 95? 94 game win streak. Bringing us to the next game where we are playing three lockdowns. Like, so this team's not bad. 
Like they're a decent team, three blocks, but we're feeling confident. But then again, guys, we are six games away from the 100 game. Every team is locked in. You know, eyes to the screen. Close as hell to their monitor. Locked in, sweating, trying to end this win streak. So we throw a turnover off rip. They shoot a bad shot there. It's zero to zero. So we're like, okay, we're chilling, right? You know, we should be good. But remember, they're all locks. They all have high steal ratings. They all have max wingspan. And they can get defensive stats when they want to. Now, they were playing a little weird because their offensive stats on their builds weren't, you know, they didn't really have a dribbler or anything. End up getting a corner three right there. I'm on offense setting that screen. Chad's trying to fight for a three. I'm like, we could just take whatever. He gets wide open for a three and misses. Of course, he misses when I'm not in position for the rebound. So now we're back on defense. I'm jumping with this dude, and he just dunks on me. So now it's five to two. And it's three locked. Now, now this center who just played us is playing super high, and he has a reason to play high because we're losing. He can play high now to not give up a three. So this is probably where he's most comfortable on defense because he knows he can give up a two and still have the lead. So it's five to two. I pass it right back, and he gets another steal. Like, at this point, I'm like, okay, we got to back up. We got to be a lot more patient. He misses the open three. Thank God. So I'm like, okay, chat, let's be super patient. I'm not throwing another turnover. That's happened twice already, and it's only five to two. Chad takes the two right there, and this dude comes out the corner and blocks me. It's like, dude, we cannot get anything to go on offense right now. I'm holding the screen. Chad looking to get a three right here. I'm slipping now. He has nothing. I'm trying to fight to get out for a pop. One second, I'm not open right there. I have to chuck it. We get a shot clock violation. Like, these dudes are clamping us so far. It's five to two. Solo with great defense, though. They pass out to the wrong dude. They had the right guy wide open. Popping out for a three. He's not even shooting, and he ends up getting the open dunk. And now it's seven to two. Is this our biggest deficit? Yes, it is. This is our biggest deficit so far of this win streak. We are down seven to two. They're playing super high. They're giving up the twos because they know they have their lead, and they just keep trading buckets. They're going to end up winning this game. You get the back door right here. Another standing dunk. Now they're up nine to four. So now we're really worried. Like we're like, okay, it's time to lock in. I'm trying to slip pop right there. It's not even open. I'm like, Chad, you got to back up. I'm not throwing another turn. We're back up because that lockdown was really trying to get those steals on the pass backs. And he was doing a good job of it right here. The slip really, it was there, but it wasn't there at the same time. So now there's one second left. We have nothing. Chad's to force a fadeaway. Thank God I'm in rebound position, but I don't get it, but I get the steal. That might be the game-saving steal to hold on to any kind of chance of winning this game. We get the dunk, and now it's a three-point game instead of potentially a seven or eight-point game. Nine to six. We're back on defense. I tell Solo to play high-low on that. He goes out to the center. I'm like, yo, stay over there. I got this, dude. I'm here. I'm here. We're communicating on defense. I got this box right here. Literally six seconds on the shot clock. They're trying to abuse Chad's stats. I tell Solo to switch. He gets there for the contest, and we end up locking it down and getting the stop. So now I'm like, okay, score anything. We're feeling more confident about the defense after that possession. We take another two because that center is playing extremely high. Nine to eight. We're trying to play for another stop. They're trying to post up Chad. This dude gets an open midi. He gets that to go because we were full, too busy full court pressing and not getting back on defense. Now it's 11 to eight. Chad has takeover. They're playing super low. I'm like, yo, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. They're playing low. Gets the three to go. Now it's 11 to 11. So we came back. It's a tie game, but we still need to get another stop if we want to lead. I foul him right there because he has no ball handle. I'm going to reach at that. End up not getting the steal. We get the foul. It's all good. 11 to 11. I'm calling out no back doors. Don't give out a throw out three. I'm here on the center right here. He's not getting anything on me. He's trying to get a two or a three. We're not giving up either. Solo's playing great defense on this dude right here. Guy tries to set a screen for him. Solo with great defense. Ends up getting the stop. He's walled up. He's jumping. Wall up. Gets the stop. And Solo with an amazing defensive effort on that possession. Giving us the ball with the tie game. We could take the lead right here. Chad wide open for three. Misses with sharp take. I'm like, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Their defense is looking terrible. I'm still confident because our defense is looking amazing. The tie game. We got this. He should have hit that shot, but it's all good. It's a great shot. You can't be mad at it. It's a great shot. Should shoot it. Did shoot it. Just missed it. 11-11, six seconds on the clock. We're playing great defense. Shoots a fadeaway three, but Chad has a 25 perimeter defense, so that's going to be open. 13-11, to 11, I'm holding the screen, trying to get Chad at three, and it ends up working, and he hits that one this time, giving us the one-point lead. So now we just need another stop. We get another stop and a score, we're good, but we give up the backdoor standing dunk, and now it's 15-14, to 14, so they have the lead again. 
We need to lock in. Do we want this 100 game win streak? How bad do we want it? How bad do we want it? I'm trying to clip the outside screen to get a three. Ends up working anyways. Chad hits the three, giving us the two point lead. 17 to 15. I'm trying to get back on defense, but I'm literally sprinting back and he's still open. And they get a three. 18, 17. I'm telling us we need to get a three. We do not want to be in a situation where if they hit a three, they win. We don't want to be that. So I'm like, get us a three. We're trying to communicate. I'm trying to hit the outside screener. They end up fouling. And then we get into the communication. We start calling out what we're going to do on this offense possession. And things are getting very intense as we need a three. Go ahead and listen in our communication on this last play right here. Shot solo. Let's go, Solo. Listen, no threes, bro. Lock the in. Get back. Solo hitting a super clutch three-pointer right there. Brings us a 2018 lead, and we're calling out no threes. Cannot give up a three. We also don't want to give up a free two, but we cannot give up a three. We're playing super high on everything. We're communicating because they're crossing. They're setting screens. They're doing a whole bunch of stuff over here. I'm on the center right here. I'm telling Solo, I got him. I got him. Stay on yours. We're playing good defense. Blocks it and gets the shot clock violation. A crazy defensive performance by me and Solo on that position. If we score anything, we walk out of here with him. Oh, my God. He almost plucked Chad. Okay. I'm like, be safe. Take a deep breath. We got this. Any score wins it. I'm slipping. Chad's open. Wasn't expecting to be open. I'm like, okay. Take a deep breath. We got six seconds. I'm coming up to slip. Chat to the three, and we're out of there. We're out of there. We got the win. Close call right there, but we get into a 95 game win streak. But y'all think the intensity is going to stop there? No. The very next game, we're playing a seven foot three post score in two lockdowns. Okay? The very next game. So we're on a 95 game win streak. Five games away. We got every game being the sweatiest game you've ever seen. Seven three post score and two lockdowns. So I'm like, okay. We just got to get our threes up because if they're given a post score to the ball with post hooks, that's only twos. So let's just get our points. We can even just score for takeover right here. I'm holding the screen because I know Chad's going to be open. He ends up being wide open and misses open again. These last couple games have been missing open. I passed to the wrong person because I passed, did the RBA too early and ended up getting a turnover. They get an open three right here and he misses. So now it's zero to zero. I'm like, okay, calm down, y'all. Let's just get our, there's now playing two locks up. We hit solo a little late. I could have probably dunked that, but I'm being extra careful. Chad should have shot that probably. We end up getting the slip. I dunked the ball and missed the dunk. Like 2K made me miss that dunk. So we're like, okay, five seconds left. We got two lockdown on us. I pop out for three and I hit that three. That was a clutch three. So a very struggle possession to say the least, but we got a three out of it. So we're good. Once again, they have two lockdowns on a post score. So they're feeding the post score right here. I give up the two. It's okay. I'm probably not going to be able to stop this post score, but at the end of the day, it's twos. It's not going to be threes. So as long as we just keep scoring, we should be good. But they're doubling the lockdowns on the top of the key, end up resulting in a turnover because he's in the lane. These are two lockdowns with like 95, 99 steel. We leave a guy wild for three off miscommunication, and now we're down five to three. This is the worst position we could be in against a lineup like this because they want to have this lead. They want to like give up twos. They're just doubling with the locks at the top of the key. That's why I slip. Chad's being a little cautious because he got in the lane the last time. Right here, he gets that lane again, which was a crazy lane. Like, honestly, that's kind of RNG based. Like, yeah, you can click X at the right time right there, but a lot of the times 2K is not giving you that steal, but they gave him that steal. So now I'm guarding this big 7 3 max weight post score who's throwing me to the floor with no takeover. And I have a 90 strength on my build, by the way. So it's 7 to 3. I'm slipping right here. I end up just going up, and he gets a block. I'm like, yo, get it, get it, get it, get it. Solo, thank God, swoops in and gets it. At this point, we are struggling, and then he rips me. Now I'm on cold. This is looking bad. Seven and three, post score in the paint. We're doubling, and he still scores. How is that even open? God knows how. Nine to three. I am cold. I could grade out. I have a D plus. We haven't even gotten close to having a good offensive possession. Chad shoots it heavily. I somehow get the rebound, and I'm like, yo, oh my gosh, we have to calm down. Nothing is going well so far this game. We could easily lose this game. Now I'm cold, so I can't even really get out of body and shoot like a shot because I have like minus 15 to all my stats. That's what cold does to your stats. So I have like a 63 three-pointer right now. Chad with an amazing three-pointer right now. Oh my God, we needed that bad. Nine to six, y'all. Are we winning this game? Let me know in the comments. This dude has sharp takeover. He's trying to take advantage maybe of Chad's stats that end up just 
being safe. They're feeding the post score. They have a three point lead. They're going to play safe. They're going to feed the post score. And that's exactly what they end up doing. But look at this guy. We're like, what is he doing? And then he post hooks and then he grazes it. It's like, what? Is that a post scoring lockdown on their team as well? What is going on? And that kind of rattled me. I'm not going to lie. So now it's 11 to 6. Chad's shooting a kind of crazy three, ended up being open, and I don't get the rebound. We're down 11 to 6. Solo gets the steal, almost doesn't end up getting it. This dude's wide up in the corner. He shoots that, and he grains it. We are down 14 to 6, and we are struggling. Like, things are not looking good in the slightest. I'm wide open for three right here. End up being a little deep. Don't want to take it. I literally just got off cold. 14 to 6. I catch this pop right here. Guys, we're down 14 to 6. I need to shoot this shot no matter what. My teammates have no energy. Can I hit this? Oh my gosh. Whew. Take a deep breath with me, y'all. We needed that shot more than we needed air. 14 to 9. I hit that three. I'm trying to get in the lane. I say full court press, and it doesn't end up working out for us. Now we're down 16 to 9 after giving a wide open dunk. Our defense isn't looking good. Our offense isn't looking good. The two threes we got were super struggle buckets. This dude jumping at Chad. He ends up getting an open three. Misses again. Like, Chad cannot hit a shot this game. And look, let's just listen. Okay, we got this, bro. We got this. Come on. I got Pug over here. Slip popping it. Hey, hey, hey. Hit him. Back, back, back. Shot. Shoot it, shoot it. Get a shoot him. That's awesome. Oh, wow. That's I have fun. heat check. I have heat check. Like, like, that was such a crazy shot that even one of our friends in Discord literally said that's off. And I still ended up making it. Now I got to try to get a stop on this 7 3 post score, which is like damn near impossible in 2K24. You know anything about post scores. So, okay, just trust me. I got a good test on the post. Look, and he missed it. We got to stop. I think stop. Right, I'm just going to I'm just gonna pop to the left corner immediately. Run right. Holy shit. I know. I just want to get ripped. I just want to get ripped. Stop. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I told you this shit's not over. Come on. Do not leave Santa open. Do not leave him open. I have him. I have this kid. I have this kid. I am making miracle plays right now. It's literally saving my team with the defensive stop and the back-to-back -back three pointers. But I end up giving a dunk up right there. We are down 18 to 15. This is a massive possession right here. If we don't score right here, it's damn near a guaranteed loss. I'm holding the screen. Chad gets wide open for three. Hits it. We needed that, Chad. 18-18. If they get a three-pointer right here, we lose the game. Okay? This guy has sharp shooting takeover. Solo ends up fouling, which causes a switch, which means Chad is now on the guy with sharp takeover. Well, actually, no, he's not. But and he's going to end up shooting this. Are you out of the He missed. He missed. He missed. out. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. I'm quick slipping it, but he might be in the lane, so be very cautious. Let's go! Bro, I told you that bro, shit bro, isn't over. Oh, oh, shit. Bro. Come on. Shit. 96. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. What a game. Drop a like on the video right now because I don't think it gets as intense as that game right there. Subscribe to the channel too. How did we complete that comeback? I don't know, but. I gotta be honest with y'all. Did I not make some crazy game-saving plays in that game? Like, oh my gosh. We're on to now, after this win right here, a 97-game win streak. Literally three games off 100, four off the world record for threes. And look at who's on the spot again, y'all. We got another close game for y'all. The 7-3 post score is back. He replaced one of the lockdowns with a new lock and another lock that he was already playing with. So 7-3 post score with two lockdowns. Oh my gosh, we got a game here, don't we? So we end up get, coming up to get the ball. It's zero to zero. We're, we're talking, we're saying, okay, we got to have a better start than we did the last game, okay? Because chances we pull off a comeback like that again, it's not very, you know, high, okay? Post scores on ball. I say, I'm going to up down, get the easy slip. And that's exactly what I do. So I take the two, we're up two to zero. I'm like, yo, just trust me. Do not help on any possession. Just let me 1v1 this post score basically on defense. You know, if I give up buckets, it's okay, but they're going to be twos and maybe I get one stop. Maybe I get a steal. Maybe I don't. So I'm on defense right here. He has no takeover. First possession, he's boxed and he's double dribbling. He's double dribbling, y'all. He is cheating in the game. He, I don't he, I didn't even know you could do that damn near, but he is double dribbling. A broken mechanic that is not supposed to be in the game that he is taking advantage of. And this guy's shooting right over Chad, who has a 25 burner defense. Once again, another example of a team taking advantage of Chad's low defensive stats. 
but that's what we give for him having high offensive stats. Anyways, we get the slip. We're up four to three. And now this dude's double dribbling. Like, I'm clamping him. But it doesn't even matter if I clamp him. Because he's just going to pick up the ball and then start dribbling again. Because he knows this double dribble glitch. Um, which is on the threes court somehow. But anyways, look at it. I'm playing good defense. Make him pick up the ball again. Just gives it back to the post court. Playing good defense right here. He ends up posting up. Look at it. Double dribbles again. And then throws me to the floor with nothing in his takeover. Like, you can't make this up, bro. Look at the instant replay, bro. Like, you cannot make this stuff up. He is cheating, y'all. Can he win? I don't know. But he is literally using a broken mechanic. Chad shoots another heavily three. Literally hits the floor. That is a horrible shot. Now we're down to five to four. Solo helps. I tell him not to do that. That kid should have probably shot that because if he made that shot, that would have been huge. Five to four. I'm like, yo, just let me guard him. He shoots the post hook and he greens it because obviously every post hook is greenable in this game because post scores are broken. So now the lockdowns are playing even higher. Seven to four. Now it's seven to six after that slip. And honestly, one of those locks probably could have read that lane and got that steal. Seven to six. Are they trying to get another cheeky three over Chad? Potentially, but they give it back to the post score and he throws me to the floor again. I mean, I don't know how many years in a row 2K is not going to realize how overpowered these seven three centers are throwing people to the ground with no takeover. Anyways, nine to six. I hit the pop. This dude's jumping at me. So I end up not shooting it because I don't want to shoot a bad shot. Seven to seconds. I end up slipping again. Get the easy dunk. And now we're down. We're still down though. We get the two, but we're still down. Nine to eight. I'm like trying to read this lane on this post score. I'm here. I get the loose ball. Get another steal. And I get the ball. And I'm like, yo, I got it. I got it. RBA. I'm telling Solo RBA. Just get it to Chad. And we secure a stop. So it's nine to eight. Chad has takeover. I'm just like, yo, just get a bucket. I'm holding the screen because they're expecting the slip. Then I slipped again. Chad ends up getting open for three and greens it. So now we're up two. What a massive change of events right there after that steal and that three-pointer. I'm guarding the post score. I'm telling my teammates, do not help. I will probably get scored on, but it will be a two. Just don't help. It's fine. And that's exactly what ends up happening. He post hooks from the free throw line and he gets his little two. And now it's 11 to 11. That's okay because Chad has sharp takeover. I'm setting the screen. He gets the dunk. Now we're up 13 to 11. A quick two. That's fine. That's we'll take that. I'm trying to read the lane maybe because I know they want to pass it back to the post score and I don't end up getting the lane, which is fine. And then the post score, you know, I'm 1v1 in this post score down here on the threes score. It's crazy. These post scores will always end up pulling up down here. We don't get a contest right there. 13 to 13. They're fouling. These lockdowns are clearly begging for a steal, trying to get literally anything just to get a stop because there's so much on the line. I mean, we're about to hit 100 games and this is their second attempt playing us. Being safe, they end up getting the lockdown back up to the top of the key. I'm setting the screen. He gets the in-between, and he gets fouled. Honestly, I think I would have had that rebound anyways, but it wasn't a very good shot, but it's okay. Chad takes the two. We get a two-point lead. Now it's 15 to 13. If we get a stop, this is huge. The lock ends up running down, takes that dunk, which easily could have got pulled out if Solo got a lucky RNG animation, but it doesn't. 15 to 15. Playing it safe. They're playing super high right here. I'm telling Chad, yo, he's trying to blitz you. He's trying to blitz you. Be careful. Oh, he's careful. 15 to 15. I try to pop. Doesn't give me a good throw animation. So I'm like, okay, be careful. 15 to 15. I'm holding the screen. Holding it again. I'm trying to slip. It's not there. Six seconds on the clock. Starting to get a little worried, but we end up getting the dunk. So we're good. 17 15. We are trading bucket after bucket. Things are getting crazy. And I get the steal. Leaving the lock on cold. I'm like, yo, RBA, RBA. And we secure another steal. That is my second steal before they cross half court, which is very clutch. And I'm like, okay. We just need to score anything, Chad. And then he rips me. And I'm like, dude, there's no way. Gets the dunk. And now it's 17 to 17. And now my steal means nothing. So 17 to 17. I'm like, yo, don't stand still with the ball in your hand in front of the lockdown. Give it back to me. I'll give it back to you. We do not want them to get another steal right here. I end up slipping. I the center the post score is trying to bait. I'm not falling for it. 1917. I mean, it's really coming down to the last possession right here, y'all. We're trying to get a stop. I foul him. Could have been a steal. They call a foul. It's all good. We need a stop right here. Things are getting super intense. We're on a 97 game win streak. This is for the 98th game. We cannot allow a three, especially. We need a stop. I'm trying to get in the lane and listen in on our last play of the game's communication right here after he uses his post hook. All right, that's fine. Seven seconds left they the know the are quick slip is coming. They know it's coming. Right. Do you want me to look for a dunk? Me. Yes, yes. Okay, I will still be playing at the end. He has rim take. Let's go! Let's 
Let's oh, go. 98. Let's go. 98 game win streak. Bro, that was so Holy close. Shit. On the post. <laughs> And we did it! We did it! Like, I don't know how we did it, but we did it! 98 games! We are two games away from 100. The first 100 on 2K24 and three games away from the 3v3 win streak world record ever recorded. I mean, this is insane. Solo hits a three right here, and that is 99 games, y'all. We are literally a game away from a 100 game win streak. The crowd is getting crazy by the spot. We're like, okay, this is it. This is it. This is the 100th game. We're playing a couple decent players right here. And I went off this game. I can lie. I run up, shoot the three, get a 6-0 lead right there. Get another little pop right here. Chad hits me. I shoot another three. That's green. And this is our 100 game reaction right here. It's insane. Nobody has ever got one in the game. <laughs> like it's us three. There you go. That, that's the shot right there. It's the three fucking stupid. Look at those. Oh, we're almost for the go. hundred. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Yo, a hundred. Yo, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. I mean, we did it. A hundred game win streak. The first one in 2K24. Wow, that is genuinely insane. I mean, <laughs> we did it. And now this game right here, which we didn't know at the time, makes it the highest 3v3 win streak ever recorded in 2k20 not 2k24 or 2k20 in 2k history 101 games this is crazy this is officially once again i'm gonna say it again the highest 3v3 win streak ever recorded in 2k history not just 2k24 in 2k history 102 games but we get into a crazy game right here now this was a team that we weren't taking seriously like they're not a good they're not a very good team like we've played a couple of these dudes multiple times because at this point we've had plenty of come arounds that have tried to end our win streak over and over and have failed time and time again so we're not really you know we're chilling like we got a bunch of hard games out of the way just there on that little 10 game those last 10 games right there so we're kind of like this is our deep breath these these last couple games we're like okay we're chilling now you know what i'm saying we we good but like I said earlier in the video, I thought we were going to hop off after 100. But my teammates were like, no, we're not hopping off until we lose. Which I was like, okay, I'm down for that. So that's what we ended up agreeing on. Which I didn't think we were going to do once we were at like 60 games. But definitely didn't expect that when we got on this court. That's for sure. But anyways, you can see we're up 3-2. to two. We're not really thinking anything of it. This dude's shooting post fades. He makes that. It's 4-3. to three. I'm shooting 100% from 3 right now. Chad hits me on another pop. I green that. It's just looking like a normal game where we're going to blow this team out. We're up six to four. This dude's hop stepping in the paint like it's 2K20. Solo almost gets that lane. They don't end up giving it to him. And this Flav dude who has definitely played us a good amount of times, who hasn't really come close to beating us except maybe one game. We're just thinking it's another blowout game against this guy. This dude's drop stepping Chad, which actually is a good idea because Chad has no defense on this build. It's six to six. I'm holding the screen. Chad gets an open look, ends up bailing out because they played some good defense and they get a stop. So now they actually have a chance to take the lead right here, which they actually end up doing is this dude gets a reverse dunk on me. So now it's eight to six. So now we're like, okay, we're losing. Like, just make sure, you, like, we're just calling it out. We're not really locking in, but we're like, yo, we're losing. And, you know, we continue to play. So it's eight to eight. You get a stop right here. We should be good. And this dude does a reverse layup over the whole team, basically, and greens on 11%. So now it's 10 to 8. We're like kind of irritated after that. So we're like, okay, lock him. We're not trying to lose against, you know, this team. We just beat all those good teams. And then Chad misses a mid-range. So now it's 10 to 8. 18 seconds on the clock. This Flav dude who's got a reverse dunk and rollers layup the last two possessions. Trying to get a bucket. This Flash dude who I don't, we didn't realize at the time, but couldn't shoot. We ended up realizing later in the game. He's trying to hop step on me and he gets an open somehow. Even though I walled up in the paint. So now it's 12 to 8. I'm like, yo, take the slip. They almost blocked that. 12 to 10. Okay. 12 to 10. We weren't taking this game serious at all. Now we're down 14 to 10. Now we're like, okay, lock in. We're not losing this. We're sitting up. We're like, bro, lock in. We cannot lose this. Lock in, win this game, secure this win so we can continue the win streak. They're playing good defense this possession. I'm like, yo, just take the slip. And I'm taking the slip and they block it. Five seconds left. They block the slip. Three seconds. Chad with the open three. Misses. I mean, what is going on right now? Are we about to lose this game? 
and listen in as our tones start to change because now it's really time to lock in after that dunk. Yeah, that's my heart I'm just holding it. I didn't clip him the last time. You got it. Might miss that, Magalayo. Yeah, it's not looking good. I got B. I got B. Fuck. No way. Come on. I'm paying. I'm paying. I'm paying. I'm paying. I'm paying. I'm paying. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Do you? I have. I have. I have X. I have X. Yep. Nice, Henry. All right, I got X. I'm here. I'm here. Is a stop? Yo, get out. Nice. Yeah, come on, come on. We're right here. Don't force. Don't force. Slip off him. Need that big shot. Bro. Let's go. I got heat check too. I have heat check too. All right, all right. So we end up getting a couple good plays down the stretch, but we're still down three. It's 16 to 13. This dude's wide open for three and makes it. We are down 19 to 13 against a not very good team. We've played much better, but they're putting up the best fight yet. Yeah, this is the worst scenario we've been in. We have not been in a worse scenario. No team has gotten this close to winning. No team has had as big as a lead as this right here. So I end up getting the slip pop. I got heat check and I hit that three. That's a clutch three, but we're not even close to winning this game yet. We need a stop and we need it right now. If they score any point, this win streak is over. So we call out. I'm like, okay, I'm going to guard Flacco because he can't shoot. I'm walling up in the paint. I mean, if they literally pull off anything, they win. He doesn't go up with that. We're playing high low. I'm like, yo, Chad, up on that. I'm here on the drive. We're here. We're here. They're trying to smash the paint. He's going for the post fadeaway for the win. Misses, I get the rebound, throw it down the chat. I'm like, okay, chill. We don't need a three. So I call that out. So we take our two because either way we have to score twice. 19, 18. We need a stop. If they score any point, they win. I'm leaving this guy wide over three. He doesn't want to shoot it. He has defensive takeover. We knew he didn't want to shoot. So we were taking chances on it. I'm walling up in the paint. They're trying to post me up. Any cheeky, bu cheeky bucket they can get. He doesn't go up with that. I'm walling up. Six seconds on the clock. Five, four. Three, they have nothing. I got box out. They don't even get a shot up. They didn't get a shot up. Shot clock violation. 19-18. We got to get a three. I'm like, I'm calling it out. I'm like, bro, we're not even going to go for a two. Get us a three. We got to end this game. They foul. And it's time to listen in to the final possession, potentially, if we score in this game. I'm setting the off. Should I ask the off ball? No, Chad has yeah, taken Let's take advantage of that. Hit him big. Come on. Need it. Need it. Let's fucking go. Oh go. How do we keep oh clutching these? Dude, know. how? I, bro. Oh bro, we were stunned at this point. Like, these last, like, 8, 10 games, we have found ourselves in the biggest holes, and we continue to climb out of them as we get a block right there and end up winning another game right here. And now it's getting crazy because we already have the world record for the 3v3 core and 2k24 in general. So at this point, we're just like creating history. The more games that we win, we're on an 104 game win streak. That one team that almost beat us ends up playing us again, but we ended up locking in and winning by a substantial amount. And at this point, it's we were really thinking, yo, we might be here for a super long time. At this point, it's like, three four in the morning right and i started to think about something i was like wait how long can this win streak go because we ended up talking we we're like bro we we're starting to plan for tomorrow we're like we're, we're gonna get no sleep we're gonna literally be here we're gonna go for the first 200 game win streak ever like we were getting ahead of ourselves right but i ended up realizing i was like yo we're not gonna be able to get to a 200 game and my teammates were like yo why and i was like update required and if you guys don't know who are watching the video there's usually an update required around 8 to 10 a.m., depending on where you live, every day on 2K24, which forces you to go to the main menus and load back in, which means our streak would essentially end or the park would die out because everyone would end up leaving for the update required. So we're like, okay, now it's about racing. We have to end these games as fast as possible and end as many games as possible before the update required comes. Because at this point, it's like, five six four in the morning around there so we got like a couple hours maybe before this update required comes out so we gotta lock in as you see we're clearly locked in we're shooting a bunch of threes we're ending these games fast now we're on a 109 game win streak and you know those 90 to 100 games it was literally comp every game but now it's like 
it's kind of evened out now it's like comp like maybe like every other couple games or something but we're starting to get a couple more bum games because you know some people are going to sleep at this point it's, like i said it's christmas eve at like five in the morning so it's not christmas yet but you know what i'm saying look at but the crowd is still crazy like, look at the crowd on the sideline like people are still trying to pull up people are still trying to end the streak and i don't know if you guys have been noticing but we're on a 111 game winter right now but this team right here has played us multiple times already and just remember this team right here this is like already their third or fourth time right here we end up beating them right here as well but just remember them because this is not the last time they'll play us so this is like the fourth or fifth time we've beat third second fifth whatever okay we've lost track i've lost track since the streak happened but that wasn't our first time playing us so we beat them right there just remember that team okay 18 to 8 we have sharp takeover with chad he greens right there and at this point we are getting very high like my personal highest win streak is that 1v1 court world record was 129. so at this point i'm thinking yo am i gonna beat my record for most the highest win streak? but once again look at this team is playing us again that one team was about so just remember that where i'm start, i'm finally starting to show them i haven't really been showing every player cards to start the games but i'm gonna show them at the end here for a reason we end up beating them again so we've beaten this team multiple times they've played us a ton and we just keep beating them but they're not giving up they keep spinning the block over and over and over and over now we're at 115 game win streak i got a sharp takeover i'm messing around i'm shooting over this dude's head i'm at 25 by the way rate my center skills in the comments if y'all are watching at this point in the video like I know, I know it's a park win streak, but like, bro, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a good center. I don't play center, but if I want to play center, bro, I can play center. Once again, look at this team is playing us again. This is like the fourth, seventh, eighth time they have played us. Once again, we are going to beat them again. So just remember, okay? Keep remembering this team right here. We beat them again, okay? We have beaten them like a million times at this point. Right there, I had 13. Now we're at 117 game win streak. We're up 19 to six. This one's a blowout. I'm setting the screen for Chad, popping out to the corner. I only have two points this game, hitting Chad back. He's got a sharp takeover. I'm popping out. They leave me open, easy midi. And that's another win right there. So now we're at a 118 game win streak. And at this point, every other game is this team right here. Literally every other game. So every two games, we or every other game, like I said, we play this team so now we have another close game you're gonna see right here like i we I, like i said previously too we've played this team like almost like it's nearing 10 times we've beaten them so now they're playing us again solo gets the block right there we're up two to zero now basically they just have like three lengthy guard one they have a center they have a lock and they have a guard all with like max wingspan high defensive stats that can all shoot the ball and dunk the ball okay so that's kind of the lineup they got going on there. It's a pretty solid lineup for the threes. We're up four to zero though. We're chilling. We've already beaten them multiple times, so we're not really thinking anything of it. They end up taking advantage of Chad right there as they should, four to two. Okay. I mean, we've had so many intense games in this video and it, it's not even, we're not even done with the video. I mean, it's crazy. Anyways, we got the fireball, obviously. We're on the 120 something game, which are these dudes are fouling over and over and over. Chad gets the open three because he reaches out the play because they're still spamming. It's seven to two now. So we have a comfortable lead. We're up by five. I'm guarding the center right here. This dude, by the way, had like a 90 driving dunk, 92 standing on a center, which is kind of crazy. This dude hits the open off ball three, kind of lacking on defense right there. So now it's seven to five. Chad bringing to the ball. We got plenty of time on the shot clock. We're chilling. We got the two point lead. I'm popping out. Kind of a late pass right there. He should have passed it sooner or hit the slip. Kind of had two open opportunities right there. Didn't take advantage. It's okay. I'm holding the screen. Chad doesn't have anything. I'm going to go ahead, pop out, shoot the three. And you already know that's great. So I'm having a good game so far. I hit my first shot. 10 to 5. We're up five points. And once again, we've beaten this team multiple times. So this is looking like another win for us, isn't it? This dude gets a wide open three, though, and makes the fadeaway three after getting wide open on solo right there. So now it's back to a two point game, kind of trading threes. Then he gets a steal. That's huge. Gets a wide open three. And oh my God, thank God he did not make that. That would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Then we would have been down one, but they pass out to a three. They pass over. They're getting some good ball movement going right here. They're not shooting that shot. I'm walling up in the paint one second left, and they end up getting a shot clock violation. So that went from them taking a one-point lead 
to them not even getting a shot up because he missed that open three. Anyways, they're reaching. They're playing two locks high. They got crazy defense right now. We end up still getting the slip. So now we're up 12 to 8. We're locked in. We have our four-point lead. We just can't give up any threes. But Solo comes out to help. And the work trying to scramble around, try to get to the a guy. They get an open midi. He fades that. Greens that to go. So now it's 12 to 10. Okay. They get the mid-range, cut it to a two. They're kind of trading buckets with us at this point. Chad gets a reverse layup, gets that to go. Back to a four-point lead. They're now they're trying to cut the lead down again. They end up getting an open three. I help over. He doesn't shoot that. Kind of surprising. He was wide open. So now I'm giving up the two. I'm helping. Probably shouldn't have done that. So they cut it back to two. Once again, we're literally just trading buckets over and over. Chad with the dunk. And he gets blocked. I get the Rihanna, though. So we're good. I'm like, okay, be safe. Be safe. We cannot not score right here. I have no energy. And I'm calling that out. I'm literally blinking. So I'm not going to pop here, obviously. Because I have no energy. So that's why I don't end up popping. So Chad forces that. I don't get the rebound because I have no energy. So now it's 14 to 12. They could take the lead if they get a three right here. And he's going for it. Kicks it out. I'm here on the center who is dribbling and stuff. He ends up getting the two with his high. I don't know what his ball handle was, but his build was kind of crazy. 14 to 14. We don't score again. We were literally just up 14 to 10. Chad, good defense. I'm rotating over on the center. I'm making sure he doesn't get a three off. Now I'm guarding his drive because I know he wants to drive. He ends up missing. I get the stop. And thank God we get that stop because we needed that. We haven't scored in a couple possessions. I'm telling Chad, yo, we just need to take anything. We've got a little scoring drought. Hold on the screen. I'm popping out. Open three ball. And that is green. 17 to 14. I have takeover now. This dude shooting a fadeaway three. And oh my gosh, they will not go away. Not only has this team played us a substantial amount of times, but they are not going away in these games. Like they are locked in. They want to end this streak more than they want oxygen. And then I shoot a horrible shot. The worst shot I have attempted this entire win streak. Probably the only heavily I've shot the entire win streak. 1917. We are down two. If they get a stop, this game is pretty much over. Sharp shooting takeover for both of us. I'm like, yo, we need a three, bro. Because we can easily give up a two next possession. Chad gets open, hits the three. Thank God he got that. We're up one. If they make a three right here, the win streak is over. If they make a three right here, the win streak is over. Solo on ball. This dude's got sharp take around the screen. Oh my God. The defense. I'm here. I'm literally on that. They have five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. Open fadeaway midi misses. I get the rebound. If we score, we win. It doesn't matter what it is. We just got to score the ball. Simple as that. Chad runs around the screen. I get the slip. I'm going up no matter what. I missed the dunk. What the fuck? I got the ball. I got the ball. I got the ball. I got the ball. I got A. I got A. I got B. Yeah. A. Yeah. That's so fucking insane. What are you going to do here? Me, 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 me. Press up. Uh, you missed. Oh God. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I think I should help on the screen. I really I'm high as. I got, I got B, I got B, I got B, I got B, I got B. Three, two, oh my it. god. Oh my god. Bro, come on. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out. Help him, bro. He's trying to fade some shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And do you have to take over, yeah? Yes, I do. It's the top of Go, bro. Holy oh, shit, bro. Oh, they could have yeah. beat us twice. He was wide open. <laughs> he was wide open with that. takeover. Oh my god. Wide open. 119 game win streak. And like I said, bro, these dudes just kept playing us every other game for like 20 games straight. We were playing these dudes. Like it was clear as day that they were just gonna keep playing us until they won at this point. Right here, I'm getting hell offensive rebounds to stretch the streak to a 120. Look at me going crazy. Oh my. Solo hit a shot. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, what is going on right here? Solo, lock in. Okay, there we go. 120 game win streak. I mean, this is insane. I am nine games away from tying my record, which I want to beat. I, I mean, I haven't seen that record since 2K20. It's been a minute, right? One, once again, another blowout game. 
We're up 19 to 8. Solo shooting from the half court line. That's a grain. Gives us the 121 game win streak. This is literally legendary. Once again, I have to buy boost again. Like I literally, I bought like a hundred boosts at this point and I'm running out of boost again. So I make sure to buy more boosts. I don't know how long, I don't know. I bought 70. I don't know how long we're going to be on here. We're going for the 200 game. Anyways, Chad gets another three. We win that game. Now we're on 122. Are we on 120? 122 game win streak. I mean, this is insane. And that doesn't even look real when that streak pops up. Like that's how crazy that is. Sharp takeover again. Once again, we're playing that center again. I'm popping out to the three. Gets the easy dunk. 123 game win streak. This is this is legendary, man. I mean, this is crazy. On the 3v3 court, too. Like, bro, 3v3 games take way longer than twos and ones. Like, so this is pretty and crazy. Pretty crazy. Once again, I'm gonna show all the stats at the end of the video. How long this streak took, all that good stuff. 124 games. Right here, we're up 20 to 15. Chad, snatch bag, green, 125 game win streak. So at this point, we're 75 games away from the first 200. Like, no one's ever got close to 200, but the first 200 game. Shit, no one's even got to 150 before. And we're 25 games away from that. Playing a mascot right here, up 18 to 13. Get another three. And that makes it 126 games. And then we get into this game right here. Now, we're playing this team again. We've, we've beaten them like a million times at this point. They're a solid team, but we've beaten them like 10 times. Um, and something that you guys are going to start to notice that happened earlier in our streak is when we're on offense, when we're facing this squid, the game starts chopping. So not necessarily lagging, but lagging, but like chopping. So like every couple of seconds, like the game will skip like a couple frames. Go. Gotta They're not gonna have any chop on their offense because it's only when we face the other way on the court. And Solo kind of explained it right there. Like it's only when we're on offense because it's like the squid in the background, like making the game chop. I don't know if you, any of you played 2K20, but when there was a Halloween park, that witch would make the game chop when the camera was facing that way. It's kind of like that. Or if any of you played 2K21 next gen in the beginning of the game where the game would chop if you were on the 2K camera angle because of like the background city. It's kind of like that. So when we're on offense and we're facing the squid, the game's chopping. So, you know, it's affecting our shooting. It's affecting kind of what shots we're looking for. But when they're on offense, it's not chopping at all. So it's a big disadvantage, you would say. So right here, it's two to two. You're going to see us talk about this chop throughout the game. If you notice it, you notice it. If you don't notice it, you don't notice it. But I mean, it was it was definitely affecting us big time. So. Right here, Chad shoots the three. We're up five to two. So we're like, okay, we're chilling. Let's get out of this game. Hopefully we don't have to deal with the chop too much longer. I get a steal right there because we did have to deal with this chop early in the win streak, but it was only for like three games. So we're like, okay, we gotta just get a couple games done. Hopefully it'll stop chopping because it doesn't happen. I don't know what causes it to happen besides the squid and why it doesn't happen every game, but it's, it's weird. If you guys have ever played on this rise court and if you experienced it, let me know in the comments down below but anyways we're up seven to four we're chilling i'm popping out chad's looking for something solo's back door and gets a horrible catch animation i'm trying to get a slip literally just trying to score anything i pop out chad takes the dunk and look at it, we're up nine to four like we're chilling like it's looking like our like 12th win against this team like we should be good this dude back doors on chad taking advantage of his defensive stats don't blame it at all that's what they should be doing nine to six i'm holding the screen i'm like yo just score anything we're kind of looking for twos more than we are looking for threes. Shoot. The fucking, pump. The fucking chops are going crazy. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm and you see Solo right there, like right when he shot the ball, the game chopped. So he's complaining about the chop mid game, but I still end up getting the steals. So we're like, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Get another dunk. Chad gets a crazy dunk meter dunk. We're up 11 to six guys. Remember that we are winning 11 to six right now. This dude gets a crazy three-pointer. Now he cuts it to two. So we're like, okay, we just got to score anything right here. Chad drives to the basket. That's just a horrible take. I'm not, he can't blame that on Chop. That's a bad take. He should have passed that out. It's okay. I don't get a contest right there, but now it's a tie game. Why are we chopping this game? At 97. So once again, we get our two-point lead. We're up 13 to 11. 13 to 11, this dude back doors. I don't get that block. I'm not gonna lie, that definitely should have been a block. 13 to 13, remember that. 
13 of 13. I'm going on the slip. It's not there. I'm passing back out. And by the way, the other team is experiencing this chop too, but only when they're on defense. Um, Chat passes out to me, wide up at three, and I just don't even come close to timing it right. Like, yeah, it was an 8%, but bro, I laid it, Dave. Like, I haven't laid it a jump shot this entire win streak. And I late one when I chop because it's chopping. <laughs> so that was really rattling. They end up getting another dunk right there. So now it's 15 to 13. We're down to, and look at this right here. I was had my icons up and you can see my icons go away because I just clicked a right there on that screenshot and then Chad walks over even further a ball hits the teammate in the, in the opponent in the head and they get a lot three and wow that was a mood killer and a half right there and I in my head I'm like there's no way we win this game we're chopping we're not going to be able to shoot the ball as well as we usually do we haven't really even been looking for threes like that this game we're still taking twos down five like that's bad so now it's 18 to 15 we need to stop this dude's in sharp shooting takeover hit this dude wide open he doesn't end up shooting it we're kind of rotating over we're scrambling he shoots he scores and the win streak is officially over but it's because the lag bro. It's the lag. we were chopping on offense and they weren't didn't shoot made one three and they shot nine for ten. i didn't beat my record <laughs> Oh my god. They had a massive advantage that game and they played us like a million times. This streak ended up taking 11 hours and 45 minutes. And of course, the streak ended at a 126 game win streak, which is now the highest 3v3 win streak ever recorded in 2K history. And of course, the highest win streak of 2K24 so far. Subscribe for more videos, drop a like if you enjoyed, and click this video on the screen where I entered a 1v1 tournament to win a million VC.